day to one of the beaches on the East Yorkshire coast. We're trying to find a beach that really is just a long sandy beach, somewhere to walk, but we're not bothered if it's got amusements, anything like that. We just want a nice beach to walk on. Sun's shining today, temperature's about 20 degrees. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm shocked. Pretty Yorkshire. Come on. today <laughs> <laughs> I am really shocked how nice this is. Looks really brilliant, isn't it? Oh. Boo, come on. I am really, really shocked that we've got this less than it. an hour from where we live. I mean, look at it. It's like a spray, isn't it, coming off there? Yeah, it's yeah. absolutely. I mean, it's helping. It's a gorgeous day. Sun's shining. It's but it's you're not restricted with a dog it's i mean look at her she's absolutely loving life she does love a beach to be fair boo loves a beach even in the rain it be freezing cold she does love a beach boo, but this is just the beach clips are slipping a bit yeah yeah, I think it's somewhere where we'll definitely come back. Okay, so we have come to the east coast today. We are in Yorkshire and we are, I believe, on a beach called Wrighton Reach. Um, honestly, I have to say I've never been here and I am pleasantly surprised. We've got a beautiful day. Um, it's a gorgeous sandy beach, I can't believe I've never been here to be honest before, the dog's absolutely loving it. I'll turn it round and show you Joanne. As you can see, it's a big massive, that's Filey somewhere over there, possibly. And Flamber Head, we're not uh, somewhere between Filey and Bury. Uh, but this is a bit of a, well, it's not a kept secret because obviously there's people here, but we've come on a what would be classed as a school day in the middle of the week and there's not many people here so, and it's a sunny day so it's absolutely beautiful today not sure what the cliffs are called over there but it's a nice flat sandy beach the dog's absolutely loving it I think it's Humban Migat Humban Migat I think I could be pronouncing it wrong but will definitely be uh, sticking his feet in there in a minute having a bit of a paddle on the way back we're going to walk down to the bottom there is a holiday park at the bottom of here so it's obviously quite yeah, popular a lot more yeah, this, but uh, yeah this is great so we've just we've, we've realized now where we actually are we are we parked at Humbenby Gap car park and we actually walked on to I don't know how you pronounce it you could pronounce it right right or Rayton. Um, we've passed the holiday park, which there's quite a lot of people on the beach there. They look like there's a little land train coming down actually. Um, I'm saying I'm not really a lot today. And there was like a little land train that was coming down to pick the people up. But I mean, look at this sand. This, um... I mean, we've, we've got our trainers on in the, at the minute, not my walking boots. And we are going to take them off and walk on the sort of like bit in the sea on the way back. but. It's so good for walking on, and she's just, I've even took a harness off, she's like freedom. Absolutely loving it. Some I think fossils. Anthony's shocked, because I, it was, my idea, I sort of like this morning, was Googling best dog friendly beaches in East Yorkshire, and some really lovely ones came up that was, to be honest, was not far, it was sort of like more northeast, Maybe an hour, an hour and a half to drive away, a bit further maybe even. But this place, I will definitely come back. 
it's great for walking her even if you don't have a dog it's great it's it's a nice place there's no amusements there was a little like coffee place as we came down uh, you might have seen that I don't know if I captured that at the beginning of the video um, well, like I say there's no amusements there's no ice cream vendors here at the minute waffles it's just the beach the sea clean air and it's it's lovely I just love being out it's like this I mean we've got that in the sky as well everything seems so much nicer so much nicer. Oh, it's been great, yeah, I don't know if there's any ever any surfers here. I don't know. I'd have been as happy as Larry as a kid here. The bucket and spade, the flags to st stick in the top of the sandcastles. Me and my brother arguing. We'd have been in there in a dinghy or a lilo. <laughs> my dad shouted at us to come back. I've got one happy dog, I'll have to stop and give her a drink, we have got a drink of her. So while we're here, we might as well get another stone for the memory jar. Have seen one, Morgs? Is it big enough to write on? No, it's a nice size. Getting nearer to where, this is where we said we'd walk up to and then turn round, but I mean, cliffs look real dramatic. I just, there's no rubbish on this beach. No rubbish on the beach, it's pretty empty, the beach is really clean, I don't know what the sea's like, let you know about that in a bit, but it really makes you think, I think if lockdown's taught me anything and what's happened in the last few years that there's so many places I need to go to, you don't actually have to go far. I think this is from uh, World War Two. I think it's something from World War Two. I will look in and I'll put a bit of info on the bottom. There's a lot of flies around this though, so come away from there, boat. But I think that's something to do with World War Two. Yeah, because obviously you had to defend this coastline. Well, then they had to get up there. It's a good. Now that's a, that's an Anton, it's a good place to land because it's flat. Well, most beaches are flat, Morgs, but how do you get up there with your tanks? <laughs> and there she is. Hi. We've now got socks and shoes off, so we're now going to head to where the, there's people in the sea and we're going to sort of have a paddle there because we have seen a few little jellyfish. Boo had a drink at the halfway point. Uh, did you check your watch, Anthony, how far we've done when we got up to that point there? Anthony forgot to set his about, watch. About three miles. We haven't even got back to where them people were, so we must have walked way past I'm, that. I'm wondering, did you check? what the mileage was that was up there that's what it was meant to do never mind I mean, it, was just, it was about a mile and three quarters about four four and a half so it's not a bad walk really nice and cool and refreshing on your feet right so we're gonna have one last little paddle as we're going back towards where the car's parked which is somewhere on them cliffs over there no, they're not jellyfish. So here he goes. <laughs> get ready for the get ready for the cold. Cold faces. Oh. <laughs> it's, 
actually exactly it, it is nice. The thing is, it I, is I cold. must admit, yeah. that time before this in February, in fact it was before lockdown, just in February 2020, we had to run out to Hogsey and I had to have a paddle in the sea. And I don't think it's actually much colder than this. Than this, to be honest. I don't think the sea temperature. Even the dog's having a go up. She's exactly swimming. Dipping her feet in. Come on, boo, brave. No, she's not really. We've walked all the way down to the bottom where them cliffs are. And all the way probably about Four miles, five miles by the time, no, maybe five miles by the time we got back to the car. There is one or two jellyfish in here, so we have to... <laughs> Bless her. Right, I'm just having my last little paddle before we head back to the car. Um, we're just saying that's finally in that direction. So if we came here again, we maybe might walk the opposite way. Just to show you, that's the car park's just virtually where that house is just you can see that house is like a little cafe with the flags flying you walk up there top of that cliff in fact you can see the cars just about there so yeah but look it's at the beach see clean the beach clean there's no plastic it is well done each other the beaches spot on Boo has loved it. Absolutely loved it. <laughs> so we'll have another drink when we get back to the car and then we're going to can't go to the seaside and not get fish and chips but we're actually going to get them from where we near where we are because they do really good gluten-free ones for Anthony so we'll get back virtually home and then we can order them in the car going back 